Hello all, Stoic here with Second Front. And we have a new DLC. We have the Commonwealth forces available for us to use. Either playing as the Commonwealth forces or against them. And I thought I'd put this together to give you some tips and point out some differences with the new Commonwealth vehicles. So I've loaded in a scenario and this is showing off the new desert features, the new desert textures, buildings, date palms, brush, cactus, and, and, and sand up here. And I've put in some new, uh, some yeah, some of the new Commonwealth vehicles. Now, one of the good things about bringing in the Commonwealth is that we have got early war vehicles. Um, like the Daimler and early tanks, Matilda 1, does is bring in early early armour, early vehicles. And one of the downsides of the early, or especially the British early guns and tanks, where they had a two pounder gun or 40 millimetre gun that couldn't fire HE. So here we've got, so one thing to help you play is to look here to see what this vehicle has got and hasn't got. So this is saying it hasn't got HE. So, for example, if we uh, let's turn the turret this way, we want to fire over here. Let's go fire at some infantry. All we've got to fire with is the turret machine gun. If we fire at a vehicle, we've got turret machine gun and armor piercing, but we haven't got HE. So bear that in mind. Crusader two. Again, a blue shell crossed out. No HE. So if we fire at the if we want to fire at the infantry, it's only a turret machine gun. If we want to fire at the unarmoured vehicle or a vehicle, it, we can fire armour piercing. Next one he I put in is a is a crusader, but it's a close support type of vehicle. So it's got a different gun. It's got a short 76 mil gun. It has got HE, but look, there's a 27 percent chance that the the last shot you will well that the when you fire HE you won't have any more HE ammunition so there's a, a not a lot of HE ammo for this gun in fact there's no armor piercing ammunition so this one can't fire armor piercing but it can fire smoke um, and there's an eight percent chance that when you fire smoke it'll be your last smoke shot so take Take care and pay close attention to these these num these values that appear here, these icons. So here we've got, we can fire high explosive, we can fire smoke, and both of those are showing the percentage out of ammo. We've got machine guns, but we can't fire armor piercing because we don't have it. So here's a Churchill, 58% chance of out of HE. So it has got HE. There's no sign here for, for, for armor piercing red. So that means if we fire here, we can fire armor piercing, but there's no chance of it running out. It's got lots fitted. We can fire high explosive, but there's a 58% chance that that'll be the last shot. So pay attention to those numbers. Here we've got a bishop, which is a Valentine hull. It's got a 25 pounder gun on it. And let's look at that. It's got no restrictions on AP or HE, and it even got smoke with a 41% chance. So this is a, a useful gun. So it can fire armor piercing, high explosive, and smoke. So a useful vehicle uh, to have in your in your scenario. A couple more tanks, um, Valentine. So these are our and Matilda too two iconic tanks. These are infantry type tanks. They've got thick armour and are slow and have got a you know, relatively weak gun. It's the Matilda, so it's nine hexes, Valentine ten hexes. So these are the infantry support tanks. The other category is cruisers, such as a Crusader and look this can go 15. So designed to go around the flank in a sort of cavalry type roll you can use but again but with thin armor to be aware of the difference 
of the type of vehicle and the ammunition it, they have. Let's have a look at the mortars. So here we've got a small mortar, a two inch mortar. It can f fire the mortar or fire smoke. This mortar 60 mil can only fire HE and this mortar can fire HE and smoke. So pay attention down here, you've got the range bands 3 to 50, this one's 3 to 45 and this small one is 2 to 8. So pay attention of the, of the ranges and again different types of mortars will have different types of ammunition. Going back to anti-tank guns, here we've got a two pounder that has got HE and AP. Six pounder has AP. Twenty-five pounder has got HE and AP. So take care and be aware of what you what your guns uh, are aim armed with. Another new vehicle is the Bren Carrier. It carries half a squad. Let's push them forward to here and unload. Let's push this one forward to here to unload. Let's select this half squad and move it here. And now because we've got two half squads and a leader, we can combine those or merge those into one full size unit which is more effective than two halves so bear that in mind let's look a bit now at uh, the desert specifics and as you can see here we've got dust the last two hexes where a vehicle moves is dust and that is obscuring in the same way that smoke is so you can use that if you want to advance use that to create a dust screen for your troops or your infantry or vehicles to conceal them. Cactus is a desert, a new desert scenery. Uh, this can run, walk a long way, but if you walk your men into cactus, they don't like it, they get pinned. So steer clear of cacti. Another feature of desert is sand. It slows it down. Let's see how far this can go. This one can go one, two, th three hexes. This one, if it stays just on the rough ground, can go a lot further. So if you want to, if you want to restrict movement, you can put sand down. Or if you find yourself facing sand, then you can avoid it like that. Some general tips now that apply to Commonwealth and the old forces. Movement. So this is a bishop, as we saw it earlier, 25 pounder gun. If it wants to fire here, if it's going to fire HE, it's a 41% chance to hit. Now let's imagine that it the last turn it moved up here. So let's turn this engine on. And you can see the engine's on by the exhaust and also it allows you here to turn it off so let's try and fire again but because we are have got the engine on it's dropped it from 41 down to 2 so when you are preparing your vehicles to fire turn the engine off and it will give you a lot better chance of hitting your target Movement, if you have a squad leader in your in your hex, you move a long way. If you don't <laughs> if you don't then you um you can move less far, so bear that in mind. If you bunch one disadvantage of getting all together is to you'll suffer the same suffer the same fate when you're fired at like that. 
another top tip is the F key. So this button here is line of sight tool. If you press the F key, then you get to see what which hexes can see that hex. So for example, this I got fired on down here because I moved into a hex that this one could see. If I'd have stayed here, I wouldn't. So if you're a planning an advance onto anywhere, make sure you use the hex key, the, sorry, the, the F key, to turn on the uh, the line of sight tool to see because these are out of these are hidden and these are not from this location. Use it frequently so you can plan your movement concealed from the enemy. One last tip gather your forces. If you're going to attack something don't do it piecemeal, don't send one unit in. Uh, it's easy pushing in the vehicles and getting it to attack. The infantry are still over here. Make sure you gather all your forces together and then attack or combine your arms, combine your units. Remember uh, a unit can only fire back at you twice so once it's fired twice it's gone yellow here because it's fired once. Uh, this hasn't fired so one, if it fires again it goes red and that means you can push something up, some infantry right up to it and advance into it in the next phase. So take care of that or be aware of that. I have loaded up the, the scenario in the scenario editor and want to show one thing. There is a new feature in the desert called sun blindness. So in the properties dialog, which you click by clicking here, you've got time of day and it defaults to midday, which is this general look here. So the sun's overhead, that's what we use, are used to experiencing. But you can change it to dusk or dawn. And as you can see, it, it, it puts the sun low on the horizon and so anything trying to look at something this way will be will be will be blinded by the sun and will be harder to 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 fire and to spot things in the sun. So properties at dawn we have the sun the other way, the same effect or midday. So I don't think any scenarios at the moment have got that feature in, but you go ahead and build them yourself. OK, that's a brief intro to the Commonwealth Forces and how you can better yourself on the battlefield so you can use those to your advantages. A brief talk about desert scenery, and a big talk, a little talk about some tips for how to, how to get you fighting well on the battlefield. OK, hope that helps. Thanks all. Bye bye.